Hello! So, I wanted to do a video about uh, the new hero, Isaac, right? So Isaac, right, he is the new hero with Winterfest. I kind of talked about him before he was actually in the game. Um, so, his ultimate ability, what it does, right, every time uh, Isaac attacks, he charges uh, up by 10%, but uh, he can actually absorb magic damage to increase his, like, energy charge. Right, it's like he has something that's a bit different than energy with Teslin. Right, but uh right, so every time like said so magic damage he absorbs into energy so he can uh get his ult off really fast and his ult uh, silences enemies. Right, so he also summons his drones, which uh boost his attack efficiency. It boosts boost attack efficiency of allies, it actually doubles his own attack efficiency because he's engineer. The only other two heroes that are engineers are Ginger and Fox. And based on what we've had seen so far with Isaac, I don't think Ginger or Fox are ever heroes you want to actually use with Isaac. So it's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, irrelevant tag mostly, right? So Isaac's mostly, you just want to use him by yourself, himself. Um, so if he uses, gets to use his ult uh, three or more times, he'll actually start doing damage with the ult, right? Uh, this isn't too bad on uh, the fact that he buffs magic penetration with ult. This can actually do a lot of damage, but it is a physical attack. So it can be dodged. Um, silence, you know, he can use Mara. So his silence, it lasts four seconds. But with Mara, he can make that last 12 seconds, which could be backbreaking. Though, just keep in mind that Sebastian is a scene. And if Sebastian has his on up, you know, he'll block that silence. But if you have, like I said, right, one team I've kind of seen him with is like Leon teams. Right? So we are going to summon him. We are actually going to summon him. Right? And I should have the... Souls to evolve him. Right, so he's absolute star. I have 2,774 souls left over. So we're gonna... Oh, we have to level him up some. Put some levels into him. There you go. Okay, now he's max level. All right, so for some reason I don't have any of those. There you go. Now we have one. Let's see. Okay, now he has his Violet ability unlocked. Alright, so we will... Alright, this just lets me see this stuff easier. Right, see. That doesn't do damage on its own. It just silences, but it does damage if he uses this more than two times. So three or more times, then it will start doing damage with this ability. Efficiency boost, right? So, and he also, he buffs armor penetration with his artifact, right? Which is, it's kind of, like I said, he, this benefits himself. I mean, he's a pretty decent armor penetration because he gets faster um, energy regeneration so he can keep his armor penetration up more. So he's kind of, he's going to be kind of like the physical team equivalent of like Orion, right? Because Orion, he buffs magic penetration, gets extra energy. He can get extra energy buff armor penetration more. Um, if you aren't using him with Sebastian, you probably almost should always use him with Sebastian. But if you aren't using him with Sebastian, he will be vulnerable to Satori. Because Satori can uh, land marks on him for this energy, so just be, keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, Sebastian, I mean, people are talking like, is this the end of Aurora? No, Aurora is still absolutely the best tank of the game. Isaac's presence does not change that, right? Isaac, um... He can be good against some of the pure magic teams, though. He can be he can be good against a twins team, if you can land silence, and that's the tricky thing, right? Sebastian blocks all status effects in the game. 
uh, for 15 times. So you need to have a lot of status effects hitting to really override that song. Right, and even with the bonus energy, Isaac can't do it alone. So a lot of times I've kind of seen like Isaac Leon teams kind of with Axel, right, which can kind of increase the number of those uh, uh, curse counters that uh, can bring that song away. But, uh, you know, that's kind of my initial thoughts, right? It's like so good at Isaac team. You're probably, right, it's going to be Aurora, right, and then let's see... Isaac and then like Leanne beat the core and then you'll probably have like Celeste or maybe Thea Right or maybe like even Martha sometimes right to kind of fill that team out and you'll use Axel as a pet Right, so that's probably what you're gonna be looking at Um, You might use Isaac with maybe like an Akark team or something for the armor penetration or a Yasmin team Right, but uh those I think you're kind of probably gonna be building around like Sebastian especially and then probably Roar just because she's the best tank. That's probably what you're building around. But uh, Leanne does seem good against magic teams with Isaac. Um, but yeah, no. If Isaac buffed magic defense with energy buff, man, he would be... Yeah, he'd be the best anti-mage hero in the game. I, right now, though, I still think Thea and Maya are probably going to be... You know, just better general purpose anti-mage teams. Uh, anti-mage heroes so that you can kind of stick in teams. But, uh, you know, maybe like a isaac Leon team or... You know, maybe there's some other team. Like I said, he's new. He hasn't even been out a week. So it's, you know, just trying to figure out what his impact on the metagame will be. It will take some time, right? It'll probably take a few weeks to kind of figure out where he places. I mean, he's not nearly as OP as Sebastian was. Last year at Winterfest, we got Sebastian. Sebastian broke the entire metagame and changed the whole game, right? He's overpowered. Is, you know, he's just overpowered. He's the best hero in the game, right? Isaac's not quite that level, but Isaac does seem like he has a lot of potential and can be good. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts right now. Uh, I'll probably do another video on Isaac you know, in a week or two when we get you know, more data to kind of figure out how he's affecting the metagame. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.